Angel Crew, have a look at this footage that I am just about to show you. As you guys know, I had a ticket to go to this event on New Year's Eve. I had a feeling that it was going to be packed out as you didn't need to have a green zone pass. It was registered under a yellow zone and now they're under investigation for COVID breaches. I tried to get my money back from Luna Park as I was concerned about my safety but I was refused. Now onto the footage. Feel free to leave any opinions in the comments and share this video out. Luna Park Sydney is tonight under investigation for potential COVID-19 breaches at its New Year's Eve party. It comes after video emerged of a crowd crush as guests vied for a spot to watch the midnight fireworks. Welcome to Lunacy Park, Sydney. So everyone was on top of each other and trying to record it. <laughs> Where thrill-seeking rides might include a trip to the COVID clinic. Abdullah Hijazi and Ali Abbas paid $150 each for a front row seat to Luna Park's New Year's Eve fireworks display. It's got busier and busier and busier. Sold as a family safe event, but ticket holders feel they were forced into a high risk situation. And like we had a bunch of dogs behind us pushing us all forward. Mums, dads, and babies crammed into the heaving mass. But once we were headed towards the pier, it just went all down here from there. As midnight approached, COVID marshals lost control. There was one security guard trying to hold the whole crowd back, but within a matter of minutes, he was actually run down by the crowd. <laughs> and when the clock struck 12, utter mayhem. People had their hands over you, so you have people were breathing over you, people had told the shoulder next to you. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. Sydney signers left wondering how this mosh pit was allowed to go ahead. It's not fair, there seems to be a lot of double standards. It doesn't seem like very COVID safe. I think it's sad. Were you working New Year's Eve? I can't answer your question, unfortunately. The New Year's Eve incident has sparked two investigations, one by police the other by Liquor and Gaming, New South Wales.